Welcome back everyone to some more F1 2021 My Team Career Mode. We're heading to the Brazilian Grand Prix Season 7 around 20. Of course, in the previous episode, we secured both the driver standings as well as the constructor standings in quite a interesting fashion. We did not finish the race last time and that was due to a issue with the mechanical issue with the engine so let's see which one it is it seems like a control electronics blue right here column four was the engine column i was using so yeah a bit unfortunate but today as you guys will notice from our uh title here of the video um there's a new update that came out with the game and it also brought a new podium pass to the players and we are going to be driving in arabs livery that got added to the game so there were three content creators that um had deliveries added to the game and they were uh arav pieface and terrorizer and today we'll be using arrows uh livery here that you see which looks kind of fly uh really really works well with his channel and i think this is close to one of the liveries he used in his my team career mode videos before big fan of his work and to be honest, seeing a content creator get recognition by a game developing company is really nice. Uh, really, really cool to see Arav make it on the big stage to some degree. I really like this livery, it looks pretty cool. So we will be racing with it today to really celebrate the content creators on YouTube. And this is pretty cool, I must say. So let's head on to today's Grand Prix, which is the Brazilian Grand Prix in Aris livery. Hopefully we can have a good one with no DNFs, hopefully. Before we continue though, of course, make sure you guys are subscribed by using the red subscribe button down below. Hit the notification bell as well so you're notified as soon as the next episode goes live. More F1 content is going up on the regular on this channel alongside other gaming videos. So please be sure to be subscribed so you don't miss out. Thank you guys so much for your support and let's move on with today's Grand Prix. Welcome to qualifying at the Brazilian Grand Prix. This has been an absolutely intense practice session, a series of practice sessions, mainly because we had blistering pace with this livery. I think the Arab livery cuts tenths off your lap times around here. We were P1 in both FP1 and FP2, so that is good to see. We are quite solid on this track as well, so it's relatively a comfortable track for the team, so I'm hoping for a good result today. Um, overall, I think the soft tires and the medium tires are the ones to go for. We were overtaking a bunch of people on both of those tires, but if we have to use the hards, I don't think they're too bad either. Uh, we have to see how the deltas are. I think there's approximately one second delta, maybe just over one second delta between the softs and the hards i think that's the case not quite sure but if we can opt for the softer compounds 100 percent that's what we're going for and of course we have the tire wear upgrades for it fully maxed out cars are kind of good in some aspects but not so good in others like braking and acceleration so yeah we have a solid solid chance of getting into q3 as well as having a solid grand prix to add further further points to our tally and add more salt to the wounds of the other teams on the on the paddock so hopefully we can have a good race today i just need to lower the tire pressures in the front a little because the front right overheats a lot on the circuit so that is the one thing i will adjust but other than that i think we should be in for a good qualifying session so let's head out hopefully we can have a good one hopefully the arab livery will give me a couple tenths more um speed around the circuit my pace should be faster by a couple tenths <laughs> but we shall see as we head out for qualifying all right first lap Banker lap, not too confident with this one, but we should be in with a good chance. P3, yes. I can be a lot faster than that though. You see, you do a mediocre lap and the livery itself gives you a couple tens. <laughs> Despite lowering the front tire pressures a little bit, my front right is overheating. 
we haven't improved by too much but it's enough to see us continuously in p3 i mean it's almost an identical lap so yeah i think we're done here we should be through to the next round let's bring it back to the garage we should be good indeed p4 by the end of the session only four tenths off three tenths off of antonio giovinazzi who's in p1 schumacher in p7 as well so we are in good shape for q2 mazman aiken lunga schwartzman raikkonen and joe knocked out so we should be in for q2 appearance let's see if we can make it to q3 all right first up of q2 let's see how good of a lap this banker is we're gonna go immediately into oh You've just put in fastest, fastest lap. lap good job i'm on fire today guys absolute fire biblical scenes as arava likes to say i'll take it biblical scenes in q2 Maybe I should do a cooldown lap and do one more because the AI is going to improve immensely. Verstappen is behind you. Their best lap time is a 1 minute 4.6. 104.6. Okay, what's my 104.2? Are they going to improve by 4 tenths? You think? I mean 100%. Track is evolving. Plus they're probably going to go on ultimate pace as well. So we'll see. I think I might do one last lap. That front right ain't looking too happy, but this is the final lap anyway, so another purple the lap. Fastest lap, lap 104.1. That is the best I can do, I think, and we don't have enough time. I mean, why am I going to do more laps when I have P1? Surely it's a confident P1, so yeah, we'll go back into the garage, save these tires. Yes, solid P1. Five tenths off is Max Verstappen. Schumacher in P7, so he's also through to Q3. So let's see if we can lock out the front row with two elite racing cars. Eilid, Latifi, Gazi, Alcon, Sonoda, and Leclerc get knocked out. So let's move on, see where we place for the race. Q3 coming up now. Very solid lap right now. Q3, first lap. Banker of Q3. Should be fastest, I think. Indeed it is. Marvelous. 104.0. Verstappen behind. Their best lap time is a 104.6. 104.6. So I'm six times faster than Max Verstappen right now. Quite competitive here. I like it. And we've improved by another couple tenths. Or maybe like one tenth and a bit. Marvelous, and I should be untouchable in the lead. 103s, we broke into the 103s. Nice. Precisely what I needed. We're into the 103s. Marvelous lap. Grand lap in the final session of qualifying. We see ourselves in pole position, which is exactly what we need. Unfortunately, Michael Schumacher is back there in the last row of the top 10. So it is going to be quite a challenge for Schumacher to get up. But let's hope for a solid race. No DNS, please. And let's see what we can do from pole position. Welcome along then to the place where heroes and history are made. It's where the 2008 title was decided in the final corner. And it's the place, a year later, that Jensen Button stormed through from 14th on the grid to claim his one and only Drivers' Championship. It's Interlagos, and it's time for the Brazilian Grand Prix. We're racing today then at Interlagos, a historic 2.7 mile circuit, and one of the few anti-clockwise tracks on the calendar. 15 corners in total, nine to the left and six to the right, with a technical middle section opening up to a flat out sector three. And that gives us our best passing opportunity down into turn one. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. The golden boy lines up on pole position. 
Sergio Perez lines up alongside. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Sainz, Norris, George Russell, and Giovinazzi, Verstappen, Hamilton, Michael Schumacher, and Lance Stroll, Leclerc, Sonoda, Esteban Ocon, and Gasly, Latifi, Eilert, and Guan Yu Zhou, and Kimi Raikkonen, Schwartzman, Lundgaard, Aitken, and Nikita Mazepin. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. OK, we've already won the championship, so relax and enjoy this race. You heard of Red Bull gives you wings. Well, here is Arrow's livery gives you seconds in the F1 game. Let's see what our strategy will look like. Let's toggle our personalized strategy. We're starting on the softs and then moving on to the mediums, just as expected. Seems like if we pit in lap 15, we could get a couple more hundredths of a second off on our time thank you Arav <laughs> but here we go um we're gonna reduce our fuel all right let's get this race underway this is gonna be a good one let's hope for a good race start five red lights and it's lights out away we go around the outside of Verstappen in turn one and we maintain P1, this is good. Let's use our ERS, try and pull away from Perez and Norris and Russell and Sainz. Yellow flag? Why? Does someone spin? Still see a flag right now behind us. Nicholas Latifi's out already, okay. There's been an incident on track resulting in loose debris. He must the marshals have managed to clear it up in time and there are no plans for a safety car right now. He must have broken off a wing or something. Because the AI doesn't like to go to the pits, they just retire the car once your wing is completely off the car. So here we go. Lap one done. Perez right behind me. He has my slipstream, so that's dangerous. Probably push him on the outside line. Doesn't go for a move, okay. He's gonna make a move once DRS is enabled, so... Oh god, here he goes. Pushing him on the outside, guarding the inside line. He's not making a move yet. He must really want that DRS. This is gonna be an interesting fight with Perez. Okay, tires are overheating in the front right. Front right is overheating. Perhaps hards are the way to go. I am considering the option of pitting early, putting on hards until the end of the Grand Prix. Because right now we're pitting lap 15 and I think the tires might not like staying out that long. 106. Lando Norris with a slightly faster lap. Ooh, DRS enabled, so... Yep, Perez is gonna have DRS here. Even with DRS, the Red Bull seems a little slower than my car. Oh, I've been hit, I've been hit, I've been hit, I've been hit. Vehicle condition. No tire concerns at the moment, just focus on the driving. Push Perez wide. I think it was Perez... Oh, shucks. Vehicle condition. No issues with tire wear for now. Keep what the care. bloody heck was that? All right, there goes Perez. Finally, he's gonna make the move. Please don't bump into me, man. Seriously, the AI likes to jolt whenever they make an overtake, which is weird. I'm gonna get DRS off of him, I think. It's a good method of doing things here. Maybe with Paris. Oh, ay, ay, ay. what a move. Maybe we can go back to back. Oh, okay. Norris has joined the fray. Has just put up the 
fastest lap of the race so far. I have to save fuel, man. Look at that. 0 0.8 in the deficit. I was 0 0.6 at the start. Okay, Paris is back in it. Paris is back. Oh, there goes Perez. He's finally got the move done. Try to stay with him. He might make a mistake. Don't worry. This is a tactical thing. Is available on the MFD. All right, new strategy. P17. Okay, or lap 17. Sure. We also are pulling away from the rest in this mini DRS train. Come on. I don't want to lose DRS on Perez and I can't shake Russell, so. I have to try and make up this fuel. This is mainly why I want to be behind Perez. Wanted to be behind him because I can save fuel but maintain pace with DRS. Oh, is this a move? Yes, it is. Around Paris, back to reclaim the lead. Still haven't really saved fuel. But I think Paris is experiencing some rapid tire wear. Okay, Paris and Russell with DRS here. They could potentially overtake me, but I am confident. Oh, Paris is in. Paris is in. Never mind. Russell is the only one with DRS right behind me. Paris is in for mediums, okay. Even the tire saving maestro is struggling here. I think it's my turn to really shine with tire saving. Rival status? They're in 17. The difference is 19.2 seconds. They're on old softs. We think they've got one more stop. Wait, Paris has one more stop, really? Alright, Russell's in as well, but Sides is catching. It just shows he's quite rapid. But he's also in the pits. Oh god, that was bad. Box this lap. Pitting this lap then, come into the pits at the end of this lap. I need to make a bold strategy call against Perez, and that is pitting now. He is rapid on those mediums, so those are the tires to be on right now. My tires are completely worn. So I do need another set of tires on this car. The fight against Paris is getting quite tense. Let's see. We're 0 0.5 laps in the deficit. We're coming in one lap earlier than planned by Jeff with a strategy adjustment. Paris is making his way through the start finish straight right now. 2.1 is a brilliant pit stop. Only. If only the Aston Martin pit crew could do that in my driver career mode series. We should be right behind Russell. Come on, come on, come on. We're gonna have this long straight here with DRS. He's on hards, I'm on medium. Surely this is another overtaking opportunity. I think I can do it. Up the inside. Yes. Good move. Okay, good work. Great pass. He's gonna get back with the DRS here. He's going around the outside, you bloody hell, can you stop? Vehicle condition. Alright, Paris is in. He's in for a second pit stop. We take the lead again and we are finishing on these tires. So we have to make sure we are rapid for the next ten laps or so. So that Paris doesn't get more than, what, 2 seconds, 1.5 seconds on us per lap on the softs. Let's see, this is a race to the finish. Marvelous, coming up to a back marker of Mazepin. Hopefully he can allow us 
to get past rel with relative ease. Nice. That's one more car for Paris to overtake. He is steamrolling straight through a bunch of these cars. He is now 8 seconds behind me on those softs. It's gonna be a little crazy going into the final laps of the Grand Prix. I do hope the cars behind me can mount a solid defense against Perez. We'll see. At least he's gonna have to navigate around Mazepin at some point. So we'll see. Let's try and catch up to the other Haas that's just ahead of us, probably Aiken. Alright ladies and gentlemen, moment of truth. Coming up to the final lap of the Grand Prix. 4 second gap to Paris. 3.6 to Russell. So Paris is gonna pass Russell with ease on this long straight here. Especially with DRS assistance. We are going to have to be clinical for the final lap. But I think... The Arab livery should be good enough to give us the extra pace today. I think we should be in the clear. Let's listen in. Uh, rivals status. They're in second. The gap is 3.3 seconds. They're on old hearts. The time last lap was a 1 minute 5.6. Old hearts. He's on softs, mate. Jeff's had a little too much to drink, I think. His hydration's over the roof. <laughs> He's overhydrated. But no, he is on softs. Paris is on softs, and that's why he's so rapid around here. The final stages. And I have fuel saved enough to see us cross the finish line with sufficient fuel. You love to see it. What a drive from yours truly. P1. Beautiful drive. That was very good. Clinical. Clean. All the superlatives you can add there. And here we go, P1. Fantastic drive, just fantastic. You deserve that race win. That's a spectacular victory then, and with it, the championship is secure. It's been a magnificent season, and they thoroughly deserve the cheers of the crowd here today. So Anthony, what made the difference out there today? I really feel the track layout combined with the track temperatures we saw today suited their car. These cars come alive when the tyres are just at the right temperature and the driver did a great job managing that as well. They just look so comfortable out there. It's like anything, it always looks so easy when it all just clicks. A show-stopping performance from the three drivers approaching the podium right now. It's been an interesting Grand Prix, that's for sure. Yes, it has been an interesting Grand Prix, and we secure P1. What a drive. Paris just wasn't fast enough on those softs, or we were just too clinical on the mediums despite being old, and we survive the whole Grand Prix. P1 by the end of it. Arif, thank you very much for the livery. We had extra pace because of it. Thank you very much, and thanks for the race win. Marvelous. P1 finishing position. Sergio Perez with some intense pace towards the end. 104.9 on the softs. That's quite impressive. But we had a 106.207, which is quite fast as well compared to the other drivers here. Perez, Russell, and myself up on the podium. Myself in the top step, of course. Sainz, Giovinazzi, Gassi, Verstappen, Schumacher, Yuki Tsunoda, Norris round out the points. Leclerc, Hamilton, Stroll, Eilert, Lungard, Raikkonen, Zhou, Ocon, Schwarzman, Aiken, Mazepin, and then... Uh, round out the finishers with Matt Latifi not finishing the race after a collision in the early stages, I believe. Uh, no safety car today as well, so that was quite a clean race, I must say. Myself at the top, of course, 184 point gap to Charles Leclerc. Schumacher drops as Russell scores some solid points today. Three point gap between the two drivers. Antonio Giovinazzi, one point behind Schumacher, also drops. So it's going to be quite interesting to see where Michael Schumacher ends up by the end of the season. Uh, constructor standings wise, our dominance has really put us up there. 494 points for us. And Red Bull and Alpine going at it again, or swapping positions. Um, I think Red Bull just overtook AlphaTauri, but now they're overtaking Alpine as well. 13-point gap between the two teams, and now a 22-point gap to AlphaTauri and Red Bull. So that is going to be quite a tight race for P3. Another stunning Grand Prix over, and another race victory in the bag. That is a beautiful race. The Arab 
livery just looks amazing it's stunning congratulations to Arav again for getting a livery on the game officially with Codemasters it's very good to see fellow content creators make it up there Pyface is also on here as I mentioned before Terrorizer as well so I will be racing under those um, liveries soon uh, so please be sure to be on the lookout for those videos but what a stunning race overall just one DNF so it was a fluid race in general so we didn't have any safety cars to really interrupt the whole proceedings so that is good um, I think what we did well was to let Sergio Perez through and mount a sort of like a drive ahead by using DRS and ERS. We really extended the gap to the cars behind because of the DRS that we got from Perez and because of Perez's fast pace on the softs. So yeah, that was an overall relaxing and just a good race overall. Really enjoyed that one. Hope you guys enjoyed it too. Next up will be the Australian Grand Prix, a circuit that I do struggle on, so it's going to be a bit of a difficult challenge next time. So Hope you guys will stick around for that video when it comes out. If you guys enjoyed this one, make sure you smash that like button. Subscribe using the red button down below. Hit the notification bell as well so you're notified as soon as the next episode goes live. I got driver career mode and my team going on on the channel alongside some other gaming videos. So please be sure to be subscribed so you don't miss out on any of the fun that we have on this channel. Thank you guys again so much for your time today. Thank you for watching. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. Stay healthy. And I'll see you guys at the next Grand Prix.